Hi, everybody. Sorry I, it took me so long to do this. It's technical stuff, which was a real pain. Um, and I'm real tired, so I'm going to be a mess during this. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. This is, uh, I wanted to start with uh, last year, the end of last year. Um, if you look here, everything seemed to be going along quite well. I mean, stuff like this doesn't happen every Tuesday. Let me just put it like this. So here we are, September 5th, 2019. Let's go forward. This does move kind of fast, but I want you to see this from a wide view here. And this is around, this is what we're going to talk about this area now uh, in our day, you know, in our date. We're going to talk about that. But this again, we're towards the end of um, 2019. So let's get this moving. It goes a bit fast. Hang on. Bang. Okay, so that's the end of 2019, and it did, as you can see, it did end with a bang. Maybe not to the naked eye, your naked eye or mine, but that's what happened up there, that big old Bane Rain. I forget what the name of it. Don't make me, don't make me click on it, because if I click on it, then I won't be, a, then I'll have to recenter Jupiter. Just don't make me do it. So anyway, it was this sort of comet thing that came through. Let's go back. And September 17th, finger in, bang. Okay, notice, that's that's pointing, really, at, at this business right here. So, um, like I said, that's how uh, 2019 ended, with a bang. And now we can go to now. I'll click right up here, now, and today. And if you look up sort of to the east, sometimes it's more, it seems more to the south-ish. Um, but generally, you know, rising in the east, you'll see uh, Jupiter. It's like a lesser. Planets don't twinkle. So you got Jupiter up there, which is the brighter light, and you got Saturn there, too. Now, Jupiter is the king planet. I'm going to try to get going fast. Jupiter is the king planet. And Saturn is generally, historically, linked to Satan. Now, Pluto is named after the god of the underworld. Um, so here we have Jupiter, the king planet. We're going to sort of stay focused on that. That's going to stay um, centered. Okay. So let's put this into motion. All right. And like I said, they've been sort of at a standoff. But uh, now what you're going to see is a really, oh, <laughs> it's my birthday right there. So they're getting closer. Um, and just going to go now. I'm going to go by day here. So Jupiter and Saturn are just going to be sort of, well, not even in a standoff anymore. December 20th, you can say they're pretty pretty much nose-to-nose, -nose, practically. Okay. Uh, and this Capricorn is the goat. And you should know by scripture that goats, nothing against goats, but they're sort of, they've got the sheep on the one side and they've got the goats on the other. Okay. So goats are generally connected with the uh, ones who don't make it. <laughs> okay. All right. So generally you could say, okay, it's not the lamb const constellation. It's Capricorn. It's the goat. So a lot's going to be going on in the goat constellation here. So let's go forward, shall we? There. All right. So a few comets skimming by there. Let's go back. And this is uh, February 5th, 2021. And also coming in there, you'll see Venus. Now, Venus is um, known as the mother planet, if you doubt me. Get, uh, what's the name of it? Star of Bethlehem, that uh, DVD. It's really cool. You can get that. Sorry about that sound there. Okay, so let's go forward. And now this is after they butted head, Saturn and um, J 
Jupiter. And now this gets kind of interesting. There's another comet right there. There's another comet. Ooh, it's getting bright now. And Saturn and Venus just sort of had a little headbutt there. And now, watch this, this gets interesting too. Now that's going around the sun sort of, and you know it's going to flare off like that. These are very technical terms here. And, okay, so now you've got Jupiter and Venus. They're going to pair up. And another comet. And like, these, these really don't happen every Tuesday. You know what I mean? And with this activity here and the standoff, you can think what you want, but Scripture is clear that uh, I, qu I quoted it. Um, and I'll quote it again with this post that it's a language and it's understandable throughout the whole world. Um, and when something looks really odd up there, in the Magi studied all this stuff, but when something looks really odd and stands out up there, really ought to draw your attention. But we have these astronomy programs so we can literally look at what's going on. Okay, so what we got... Alrighty. All right. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to say about that, if anything. Oh, I wanted to talk about the dates. Dates to dates. All right. So this is February 10th, 2021. You know, and these are just sort of exclamation points in the sky. So just keep those. This general time, February 9th. Yeah, so what's that? Beginning of February. Um, but what really caught my attention was the end of uh, 2019. That was really wild. And this is January 18th. 2021. So we got another one coming in there. Another comet. So January, February might be a little interesting. All right, let me see here. Let's go back again. Zoom out. And those are like further away comets. More deep space. Okay. Again, here's the end of 2019. And I will say the months here. November, December. Oh, did I see it? Where'd it go? Or nowhere are we in? No, we're in 2020. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys, I should be really sawing wood right now. There we go. No, we don't go. There, there, that. Oh, that's why. See? You asked me to do this. No, nobody asked me. I did it myself. I put you through the torture myself. There, that's the end of 20, December 12th. Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And when, when I talk about, you know, the Blessed Mother and Jesus, they work in tandem, okay? They work in tandem. You got to understand, they do. So when you see the king planet and the mother planet, that, that was one, that was really what formed the star of Bethlehem, those two bright planets coming together. Okay, let me see. Let's go forward, forward, bang. Okay. And wait, 
Let's watch Mars. Mars is the planet generally associated with war, too. Okay. December 11th, 2019. And Mars goes through there first after the comet. And okay. So that's it. So those are a couple dates I, I mentioned to you. January, February. Oh, let's see. But um yeah, it's it's something's cooking, okay? Something is cooking. And what what did I say about like I said, sorry I'm so time is at 508 oh. okay what do I do here bang okay that was really what I was after too so that's December 20th okay so December 20th it's, you know, it's been a rough year. Everybody knows it. So, um, but this is, uh, it's almost like that comet sort of announced it and pointed right at, at this general area to watch and, and wait and watch. And you guys, you know, some people are saying to have three months worth of um, food, you know, like that non-perishable stuff. That thirty-year shelf life stuff that you can put. Get. I mean, I got a little. Oh, sorry about that. I got a little bit of that. Um, not much, but a little. Sorry about that sound. Um, oh gosh, sorry about that. So you know, be prepared because there could be some supply disruptions. That's what people said. Some dis. Because if they're fighting in the streets, you know. Um, the trucks aren't going to come through. They're just not. If you think they are, they're, they're not going to come through a lot of these cities. So there will be supply disruptions. So you should. You should have. But that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Some people are saying the three months just have have some extra stuff on, on the shelf, okay? All right. Don't want to sound paranoid, but, you know, it's been a crazy year, and it seems like it's getting crazier. Okay. Godspeed, y'all. Good night.